Hi guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome along to Train World. So this is a um, solo dev indie game that I was uh, sent to Kiefer. He's a Ukrainian dev. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to jump in. I've done the tutorial. And uh, we'll go over the basics and stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll do a new game. Hopefully it's not too long. Let me go back. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> I never hit the wrong button. I was going to turn down the interface a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. So. Kind of transport fever ish, railroad empire ish. Um, yeah, we'll get into it here. Zoom right in. There is a tech tree, I need to find it again. Stations, depots, signals. Oh, god. All right, we'll get it. Oh, it's right there. So yeah, there is a tech tree. I believe it goes through the three ages. And uh, we can go all the way up. Anyway, starting out on this map, we're starting out in this uh, region here of Louisville. That's what we have access to right now. <clears throat> Connections. So we have green and passengers. Passengers we'll go between all of these places. We could do a passenger route. We could do a passenger route. Our green then from Memphis to Las Vegas. Maybe we start up the green first just to have a little bit of income. So that is what we'll do. And then that comes here and gets turned into flower, obviously. All right. Uh, yeah. Las Vegas down here. Dimmingly. Pop down a station. It's a depot. That's a station. <clears throat> we'll do a general freight station. And then freight station. Freight stations are one way. So this is going to be our southbound freight station. I'm going to pop it out at the edge. It needs to be in this circle. It does not need to be connected here. Then can I get through there? Let's see if we can do that. <clears throat> so I'm thinking we're probably going to have a bit of stuff coming down from here into Las Vegas, right? I'm probably going to put the passenger line like right on the inside there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, confirm that. See what we can do with the railway lines here. <clears throat> Could do a tunnel through. $361,000 for a tunnel. Great. Gonna connect. Oh, just, just a little bit short. <clears throat> so that is all good. We're gonna have our tunnel, a costly tunnel, and then we're going up to the little town here, Memphis. That's right. I'm just going to do a general freight again. I think I'm going to do it southbound. Do I want to do it that way? 
through that way. Where is theirs? We're connecting down to that. Incline is too steep. Ooh, there's an issue. Is it though? Um, we'll just demolish this then. And we'll bring it out this way. Oh wow, really? Look at that. Can we get it to work anywhere else? No. I do a bridge. Be 160,000. <clears throat> right, next. Because this is one way, we do need to uh, get a loop. that. That'll work, and we have to do the same below. Right. Simple as that. Next, we want to train a freight train up down here to add a train we have a locomotive that's the only one we have unlocked in steam diesel and electric uh, so I'm gonna pop you in there and get get 10 satisfactory performance Lifespan of 15 years. It's going to cost us 247. Ouch. Okay. And then our route. Going to be... Oh, we can do it from the map. Easier to do from the map. From Memphis to LA. That's fine. I need to put down a depot. I won't do a tunnel depot, it's not going to make much of a difference. And uh, if I can remember the button, there we go. I'm going to connect that there. Alright, and then go to our train. Simple as that, we have our first route up and running. <clears throat> so, research points you get over time. So even the first goal here is 100. I'm gonna get it's the 260 Mogul. I know that name. We get the Atlantic rate fee, get 10% more freight jobs. Less construction price would be nice. Open a new region. So we can collect a lot, uh, connect to longer places. That's good. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat is doing its thing again. Uh, 
Anyway, he's gonna pop in there. I screwed up there, didn't I? I did because it has the wrong. Oh, okay. Let's pause real quick and edit that train because. I need dry bulk. Hopper is dry bulk, right? Yeah. Dang it. Well, I guess we let him go do his thing then. Not follow at eight times speed. So yeah, our reputation is going to go down because we haven't done this. Considering he has nothing to drop off there. He should just get on his way back. So this time, he's actually loading up with grain. So 222 grain heading down there. set up a passenger thing. What do you make from that? I think that gets calculated when he gets back around to the first stop. So we'll let him go do that. We did gain a little bit of reputation back there. Continue to gain it as well. <laughs> then passengers. We could do a loop on the passengers. Done a passenger line yet? Yeah, so we made um, a decent bit of money out of that because we're at minus 26k, wasn't it? So hopefully that'll work out. He's full now. 
great. So Louisville up here, we can do uh, passengers. We can pump down a station anyway. Places it when you do that, okay. It's pretty flat around here. Up it there. I'll leave it at two terminals for now. We can edit later. Quarter of a million just for that station. At least we'll have it there. Oh, oh we want to go there. He's leaving Las Vegas. And eventually, yeah, other resources and routes will open up to us as well. So we're going to have like two lanes on the passenger route. I'm wondering then, can I... <clears throat> Do that, okay. All right, good to know. <clears throat> the party's gonna pop the uh, passenger station here. Then you can see there's no arrows on the passenger station because it's uh, you can run both ways. that down there. Passenger route can go around, I think. A little bit of a climb. I think we might be better off going this way. And then heading off up. Basically heading direct. Now we're heading over this side, aren't we? we go around the side here. We don't have to deal with much elevation change. A long route. down to Detroit and then from Detroit we'll be heading over that way so again I'm gonna pump down a station right there I don't know if there's any like um in some games you have you can uh, just double back the trains I don't think you can which is obviously why we have to do that so if I go double lines here it does that okay I do like that you get the topo topography Ooh, that 
is kind of expensive. grand for that. How about I pay a 14 grand to get to there? And 10 grand to get to there. to the station. Rail segment is too long, well then don't let me build it that long. Oof, that's gonna be expensive regardless, right. Cool, now we're linked. Now I'm curious, can you do, uh, do the thing? Uh, I should probably put in switch over. I'm gonna say I don't know if you do these manually in this, but okay. back up to Vegas. signals right now. I'm only going to run one train if I can. See how much that's going to cost. I don't need 10. Really? Okay. Right, let's do the route. Las Vegas to Detroit. Do the thing. Ah. That's right, they're not on the same line, so I need to put in a little bit of a railway segment over here. Here, train two. Can you get there? Ah. Because he has to go through the um, the freight. Probably is. So I can just <laughs> I'll just do another loop up here. Overlapping with existing rails. Or oh, paused. Okay.
Enough money? Yeah, okay. We should unpause then. Let the dude get his money. A little under 12 years left on that train. on that. Yeah, we're losing reputation at the moment because we don't have the passengers going, but then uh, we'll get that back. So they do, um, they do switch over and back. Cool. Good to know. So we're nearly up to the uh, the first research point. Hey, Divine Dao, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hmm, I would like some profit. <clears throat> I'd like some profit. He's on his way back up. Our green train is doing its thing. So, as you can see, the arrows are now green because that's serviced. Same with that. And then eventually we'll open up more stuff. Nice new game. Yeah, this is a train world. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's a solo indie dev from Ukraine. And uh, they were kind enough to send me over a key because they thought that I liked train games.
Wait, they, oh, they haven't even given that town a name yet? Okay. Presume that'll open up with something. Now. We do the route. So we were going to do the route down to Las Vegas from Louisville. Around that side of that mountain. So another feature here is guides. You can pop down a bunch of stuff here and like, hey, I want my railroad to go there in the future. Nice direct path. Long term, your YouTube, you plan on starting a new Star Um, yes, always. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be Apex. <clears throat> um, I might. Might back up my Star Sector, <clears throat> install the new patch separately, and uh, see if everything works. Because ideally, I'd like to keep the same uh, mod list or close to it. That said, um, that's going to be a couple of weeks, probably. Just because, isn't Homeworld 3 coming out in like less than two weeks? And uh, I plan to start Kenshi maybe Monday. And uh, I'm hoping that we can kind of accelerate things in the X4 series. And I don't think that's going to be a hugely long series. But uh, I'm hoping to get stuff done in that, basically. And then when we're finished with that, we'll do the Star Sector run. And then after the Star Sector run, um, after the Star Sector run, then uh, it'll be the Imperial Star Wars Interworlds run. Oof. Um, also, watch Red X. He made a run with a twist. He can only use ships he produces, but starts with a planet. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I've only kind of done the like the low tech run and stuff like that, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> there are seven Niagara's. The one thing I was disappointed in is that um, for the low tech run was actually the thumbnails. I was hoping more people would pick up on the the thumbnails. <laughs> I'm glad you like them, dude. Thank you for watching. Oh, that's going to be nasty. Can I do less of that? There we go. You can see then that's the guide I put down. Obviously, I'm not doing a rail on that guide. But uh, it's pretty handy if you want to plan out routes, which is it's a nice little quality of life thing. I should probably in that and actually do one for myself, though, right? So again, we have the topography. We're going to go from here. We'll swing by this town so that we can put in a station. Oh yeah, we're just going right up there. I'm wondering if we go along in here. Like that. Xor is cool as well, but always gets me to sleep because of how shit it is. Yeah. And I wish you could have played Glenty. Oh man. Glenty are my like, least liked faction. <laughs> Thank you for the support, guys. I appreciate it. You, you, you don't know how many times I've just thought, I should probably just stop this. <laughs> now, uh, oh, we only have 39 grand, so we're going to have to wait for the stuff. Megatron and Myrmidon look so cool, though. I do love the Megatron. Myrmidon, yeah, Myrmidon, I used, I used the Myrmidon in EVE for a while. I, I played around with a lot of ships in uh, EVE itself. Once I went to uh, Nullsec and started doing PvP, I, I played around with a lot of ships. I used to gank the gankers in, uh, in high sec, which was a lot of fun. And it looks like the Oracle in a way.
A little bit, yeah. Hmm. It makes up the Oracle and the Tornado. It's an upside down tornado. Yeah, upside down tornado with the tail reversed. We'll have to do an um, in Rust We Trust run. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hoping he does add in a bunch more ships. That would be so cool. But yeah, this is a cool little game. I like this. I kind of I want to see how far it goes. Ooh, we're just about to hit 100. And get the mogul. Obviously, we're going to unlock that. Reputation is going up. I don't know what that means, but I guess I get another region at 450. Passenger connection serviced two out of eight. Okay. I could get a loan. I don't want to get a loan. Oh, thank you very much for reaching out all. I very much appreciate it. Passenger train. Passenger train doesn't make us any money, does it? I forgot I had TTS there. No, it doesn't look like it makes us any money. Hey, board engineer. He gave, this up, uh, he gave up on this after signal stopped working. Was constantly getting trains stuck nose to nose at the station exits. Really? Now, I haven't run into that, but I am about to probably double up the trains here. Passenger trains are the most profitable, but you need long line connections. Oh yeah, that's what I'm um, doing at the moment. So I have this connection from Detroit to Las Vegas, and I'm just about to connect to Louisville. I just need to finish the actual line. I think we're, we're here. <laughs> so I'm thinking of taking out a loan. Okay, that's just a filter. Um, let's take out a loan of a million. I think that should be plenty. I know where you're raging. But if I take out the three... Repayments are 80,000 though. slowly getting up into the positive. It's just going to take a little while. Also, we're after getting a lot of research in pretty quickly compared to the initial bunch. Like, if we get that, that'd be kind of sweet. Alright, let's see how much of this line we can do with the 40 grand that we have. I am doing a double line.
Cutting through the woods is obviously more expensive, right? by that town. Hmm. By replacing more than one train and energy is a bit of a waste. Your trains will become bigger with time and production of goods goes up to doubling makes sense only if distance is really larger. Gotcha. Yeah, because yeah, this is only producing a certain amount anyway, right? By the time my train comes back around, it's about full. Similar to, uh, I suppose, transport fever in that regard, right? There's no point in having a dozen trains going... Oh, right, yeah, no money. No point in having a dozen trains going to uh, a single stop. Pick up five things. It's a nice little title, though. Um, let me check, though. Still working on it though, that's just nice. Got positive reviews too. Okay. I don't really want to take out a loan. Thank you for the follow board engineer. Yeah, like I did a bit of a messy thing here by, you know, putting in a tunnel and a bridge. <laughs> but why not, right? So yeah, this is only like bringing out 36 people at the moment. I'm probably not over long enough a distance. Uh, you have 5.4 years left on your lifespan. We did get paid there, so that's all right. It does become more complex when you have more regions besides more passionate connections to start getting contracts. One-time transportation deals with huge payouts and new industries will start to appear. Yeah, I'd seen I'd seen a new industry uh, appear when I was doing my uh, test. But yeah, same with any of these games. The more you're going to connect, um, the more complicated it's going to get. Do the towns grow, or are they kind of just static? that I kind of want to start a game because of that I didn't actually want to do this map either anyway, I'm gonna start again I was thinking of doing the River Delta Tropical Island. Yeah, we'll do Tropical Island. It's actually like twice the size. Basic, I presume, is the mode where you start out at the beginning and, and everything opens up, and then Sandbox must have everything open, right? Okay, we're over at the edge here. So Orlando to Lexington is going to be our first one. Oh, that's a nasty little area, isn't it?
Oh, that is going to be nasty. All those woods. Is this grow? We didn't play long enough. Uh, people on the reverse segment and think they can grow because you get stuck. Then looks like they eventually you said you'll have multiple industry stations. Yeah. Yeah, their needs will grow. Uh, we're gonna have to do a bridge there. Okay. Uh, let's do a general freight. there I'll come across there and then into here but oh that's nasty ah yeah it's kind of an each to their own thing really isn't it like I love transport fever too and uh, they've announced that there's going to be a final update for Transport Fever 2. Alright, screw it. Let's just do this. At least the loop will be on. Steep. 48 grand to do that. Okay. Fifty six to do that. All right, one hundred and nine to bring it down. I do like that. That's kind of cool. That's very handy. Or you can do it this way as well. That's that's actually pretty sweet. So we're not going to do that. Seven grand to do that. Grant to do that. And we're going to pop over to there. We're at 65 to do that. I think that'll be worth it. We, we need to get out to there, I suppose. Oh, hey, maybe I should do the thing I was talking about, right? We need to get to Orlando. We kind of want to go like that.
a lot more topography on <laughs> on this side of it, okay. So I kind of roughly want to just get in there then. And we'll work with what we can. About 20 hours into TF2, horse cars, etc., super deal, and you have to re engineer the logistics network. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever played um, <laughs> Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic? You want details? Oh my. That's um, another favorite of mine. I'd even play that later today. Uh, no, I don't want to pay 72 grand for that stretch of track. I want to pay six. Four is ten. Five. Fifteen. And two and a half. There we go. We paid less than 20 for a longer stretch. See, let's play it only. Want to try it out? If you like detail, um, yeah, it's it's a really solid game. Like, it's a really solid game. I'm definitely going back to it. Like, I haven't even done the full simulation because uh, the education side of things and the law and order is like it's. So complex, it's great. Didn't figure out how to make a bridge over the rail in this game. Hmm. Oh, yeah, well, you would do this. do that save that and I really won't let you do it with it hold on Oh, it's telling you, okay, if you're building a bridge, it's going to be that bridge, right? wonder is it, like, not tall enough. Too close to a bridge? You are the bridge. <laughs> Hold on. that what's going on there that little section there maybe it don't, maybe it doesn't let you yet honestly maybe it doesn't let you yet it's too steep close, too close to a bridge yeah, I'm stumped. Doesn't take much, but I'm stumped. And I wonder, is it, um... Hmm.
Now it's too close to a bridge. So is it that you have to... We're going to do this. She'll go there. And Depo shall go there. She'll buy train. Train is doing it's doing timber, right? I think it was timber. It is now. You can get sets as well, can't you? You can buy sets like in some of the more modern trains. Let me just double check that. Or does it not do that there? Um, oh, no, wood is a... Okay, perfect. Wood is a bulk thing. Fine, I'll put in a train. Good performance out of that? Okay, well, that means you're getting more. It's a long ass train. Right, map. The, uh, the reverse and the scroll will oh, gets me every time. Lexington to Orlando. Do the thing, launch the train. You can switch in verse soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's great for a solo dev. Yeah, exactly. So I'm always happy to have a look at stuff from solo devs, especially if they're like actually playable games, which this definitely is. Ward, I presume you've done Railroader, yeah? So let me do that real quick. Oh, yeah. And of course, little animations then for the bulk cargo. No. Excuse me, what now? You haven't seen her play the railroader? Now it is definitely focused on Oh I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's coming from Orlando. Or not Orlando, whatever this town is called. Yeah, or yeah, Orlando. Coming from here. Duh. I was like, let's look at the sweet animation or change.
Hans Bond, how are you doing? I'm good. St. Patrick's weekend, bank holiday here. So, I have a nice long weekend, so there'll be a long stream Monday. There we go. Uh, Railroad is similar enough to like like this, except obviously it's very focused on uh, train management. I think Squirrel plays a lot of the games I play. Actually, I think does did he do workers and resources as well? Railroad I know this is Train World. It is a solo dev in the game. Uh, Ukrainian fellow. They uh, sent me a key to check out the game, and I said, oh, "Yeah, cool." Very chill so far. So this is just um, we were just restarted on this map because I spent a lot of money on tunnels and bridges that I didn't need to in the last map. How much money are we going to make out of you? That's something I loved about Transport Fever. Um, is that like you're actually supplying the town and you can see it grow, so it would be cool if that was in this somehow. But you don't build a rail network in it. In Railroader, you kind of do. Uh, there's a, a line there, but you extend it kind of uh, snow runner style, as I would say. Free games. Well, it's it's not free, but yeah. I get what you're saying, but I don't want to insinuate that it's free. <laughs> Minus 43,000. So you start off in a small section with your company. You have like... Um, do you get two trains to start with? I'll jump into it here in a minute, actually. Because um, we just expanded our thing a, a good bit, and I just haven't got around to playing it again. You take up your contracts per day and stuff, and then you have to do your deliveries and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I believe it's based on the Appalachians. Appalachians? The line there. That I believe uh, at least one of the devs actually works on that line. New production, there we go. So we can now go from Orlando to Henderson. Um, yeah, I suppose in the way it works today, yeah, it's, it is very handy. This um, actually came out last year, July of last year. I might have looked at this last year, not on stream run, but... Yeah, it's out now. I think it's. I just lo I just looked at it. Hold on a second. Twenty percent off. It's like twenty-two euro, ish. All right, you're loading up. You're not full though. So if I do another... Can I put um, a second connection here? Wait, put it on auto wait? How so? Oh, you need to edit route to see it? Oh, right, 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 right. Is 
Is that not on auto wait already? It's it's not um it didn't have enough produced though, right? Wait for cargo at Orlando one. So then it'll wait to be full, right? Okay, I get you. So then I could put in a second route there and he'll wait. And I could send him down to Henderson. Like I could extend that with... um. I could extend that there. Gotcha. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, that's what I'm saying, I'm gonna add another line to it, yeah. And we'll send this down to Henderson. We have plenty of money this time. there and follow the terrain it shouldn't be too bad this is a little bit of a thing but not too bad it ain't too bad at least you can like have it out here uh, we'll do this though So the loop is not interacting with the town. Uh, a bit of a flat area there will do it. Extend out that way. And then we go to our handy dandy plotter. Say, hey, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that you're going to go from around here, like there, and then kind of up along here. Like that. Oh, look. That's very handy. Make our railways like Irish roads. There's no straight lines. Can't be having that. Now we actually had a the Ukrainian fella come work with us for a while. Trying to explain to him about the roads here. There's a lot of stuff on the roads here that uh, are a little bit different, I suppose. Now, what do we have? RT3 research. I would have liked to get the mogul in here. Or we can just upgrade.
I just realized I may have done a thing. Hmm. Um, they'll increase production over time as you can transport more and they produce more. It's some sort of auto fitting, not like in terms of reserve. Oh, discreetly. Oh, yeah. Now, what way do I want to work with this? Is my question. He's filling up there. Like, I could just put the loop around the city because part of the town. Because it's not going to grow, as we said. And then I guess we'll be able to do passenger route here as well later. Or we can use this as part of a passenger route. Because it's not staying as just a connection to this. for now. set up a route our train excuse me more freight firm that and we do our route route is going from Orlando Anderson is on its way. But you can see there, they're completely um, producing independently. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, oh, I didn't do the auto wait. not the right train anyway. So... Am I doing wrong there? We're going here. Going to edit route. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be ramping up. Which is fine. Perfect. Go make me money. Jesus, everyone has a gun, eh? <laughs> Eh, nearly everyone. Still though, fair play.
Do the times don't grow? I don't think so, but I don't know. There's no stats here to say that they're going to grow other than this. But I'm pretty sure that that's more of a delivery than anything, right? I'm not sure. I ain't sure. Um, here we have both our connections done for wood. Could do passengers. Oh, we could do passengers, and we do have a line there now. When you get caught with broken contracts, there will be time when someone will give you a contract for wood, but that wood will be taken into the factory and stored there. Full. You'll have to find where did that wood go and deliver it from there, not from where contract says the source is. Okay. Honestly, I'm probably going to hop around a couple of these games for like the next couple of hours. They have to grow your supplying resources well that's what i'm thinking and obviously then when you get to maybe the next evolution because you're technically going to a different time frame obviously that town is not going to be cowboys for their eternity also, I didn't have the speed turned up, so we weren't actually making any money. Alright, train is coming into Orlando. Other train is heading into Lexington. Heavy load there, chat. Yeah, probably, probably. I would just note that uh, I did turn down the anti-aliasing because I could hear my graphics card whirring and I also limited the frame rate to 60. This, uh, this changes the volume of my graphics card a lot. <laughs> just, just to be aware of that. Yeah, those will probably just be high rises and stuff. It's all good. I keep forgetting that if you go to eight times, it uh, detaches. I suppose that's why there's that little break there. You see it? gonna do is probably we'll have the passenger train come down there as well and break off like there we do a passenger station there
Damn you. Gonna ruin this on me? Yes, you are. Wait for it. <laughs> but then on a nice flat piece of terrain ish I know it's not flat don't worry I'm gonna do a nice little thing Space power building makes oh yeah yeah I do but you know yeah that's gonna be that way so you know it's gonna be that way that way just so we have that clear all right good 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 So, quick question. I presume a passenger train can use this line to go through here. time I just do. Okay. 
that would be my only issue is that if the passenger train can't go through there. Try it out the other way around, definitely works. That uh, freight trains can go through there. Yeah. to see how dare you well at least these passengers are gonna get a Do that. We have 390 grand left. Nice. Gonna be a stretch that they're gonna have to deal with there. It is what it is, right? So if he's passed, what should happen is if he's passed that signal, he'll be blocking that signal.
So we're going to add a passenger train. We're going to do the route first. Oh, can't do that. Okay, never mind. We're going to buy the train. For that much. Start out with. Then we're going to do the route. The route is good. Oh, you becker. Orlando's not in that list. Okay. Okay. We're going to go from Lexington to uh, Henderson. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to see. Can't get a route to Lexington to. Oh, increased wagon count. Never mind. That's not. I mean, he can't do it. But that's the most zoom the map goes, and then you can zoom all the way out if you want. So that's all we're working with here at the moment. Uh oh. Uh oh, what's the story? You're going to Lexington 1, yes, you should be. Is he waiting for that? Let's see what he does here. He has to clear that, so. <clears throat> Feeling it's because no, nope, I didn't want that. Delete that. I wanted to. Like that signal. Let's echo there. That's what it was. <clears throat> so we'll let these two run side by side and then they should um Oh you just doubled back, that's right. You're an asshole. Ugh. I didn't need any of this. Forgot about it. still running. That's good. So confusing. Yeah. A little bit. Most games do that just to simplify things for the player, though. be fair, even worker. Oh, I do like that that's there, actually. <clears throat> Gives you an idea of the um, signals on the map. So yeah, you're going that way. You should be coming into the station. And you can pass through there, which is good. You slow down, but you can pass through there. Okay. 
we're talking. And we're talking. Need more powerful trains. Oh yeah, he's going straight on. That's right. Because I don't need that station yet. If ever. It only costs a quarter of a million. So the idea then is that he's belting on down. He'll pass through these. Uh, which should allow this guy just to continue on because he's already passed through the first one. Hey, Plumber, how are you doing? Signals scare me sometimes. Finally got to sleep in? Nice. What is it? It's probably what? Nearly 11 o'clock? That a lion, is it? Say so. And yeah, I didn't even do the loop here because I remembered. Well, I didn't remember. 8.45? Oh, you live in the other side. Yeah, that's right. gonna stop there. Yeah. Working as intended. How are things in sunny Ireland? Um yeah. I'm sure the sun exists. The sky is blue as well. Um, right. Yeah, that that can be that. That can be that. It's gonna be that. Aren't you coming in here? Why are you red? to go. This is this one, isn't it? Figure this out. Wait, that's all good to go. And that should be fine because. Yeah, that other train is like... But you stopped as well. Are they chained? Uh, I think they are, aren't they? They're waiting on this guy. 
Maybe signals are a bit broken, eh? We'll see in a minute once he gets up here. He's slowly creeping forward. Oh, he's, he's gone again. Easy solution. on now. That's working fine. Yeah, that's working fine because he's gone through. He's already coming back. He stopped here waiting for him to clear this line. He's already cleared that line. Yeah, yeah he's already gone back down. Now he's working again. It's this one, is it? Passenger there. He took the long way around. He's waiting for the guy to go through the station. He's passed the signal. He's belting on down the road. He's passed the next signal, so he's gone. Okay, I think we're working. I think we're working. There we go. Do we need to put two signals there? Is that what it is? I'm thinking when they come back up, there'll be an issue, so I should probably put two there. They only had it on one. Oh, I'm about to figure it out. Oh, he comes back up that way. Interesting. That's kind of... Yeah, that's interesting. He doesn't even go around the other way. So again, he stops. If he stops until he passes that... No, he's... Yeah. What is he waiting for? He's passed that signal. All the way down the main line. He's waiting on that other train. Weird, because he's passed through a couple of signals there now. There it is. But when he passed... They're working, so I can't say too much.
Ah, yeah, we might look into that. I'm gonna go AFK for three minutes there, guys. Be right back. What was that run? Alrighty, so I think I need to make the Orlando loop one way. Make that one way. one here as well.
Which of course makes no sense, but uh, we're going to do that anyway. Because I was going to do this. Oh, I have no money. So now I've just screwed my passenger train for a second. I need him to come around here and go up that way. Which hopefully hasn't screwed everyone else. Anyone notice my passenger train? Yeah, it's not on the line. Carriage station, that's fine. See that? He's stopped again. Which is really weird. So should I just put, like, pop a signal there? Pop one there. It's gonna pop signals everywhere. Why is that red? Why is this section red on both ends? That's the problem. How can that be red on both ends? And then everything else is good. Because the train is on it? Isn't the issue that um, he's stopping because he's not allowed to move forward because it's red? But yeah, the train is on that one. Also, maybe if I unpaused it as well. So we pause that again. So they're both red. They're both red. That's red because he's oncoming. And that's red. Yeah. And he's down here. Here's the difference. That's green. You know what I'm saying about the difference there? Is that the one behind him is green. Whereas you come up to this one and it's red. So maybe you want to keep adding more signals. There. Oh yeah, I know it signals define the section, but Signals going in both directions are red on both ends of that section, which is not allowing him to move. Let's just add more. Nope. Nope. Not what I did. Red up to there. Why is that red up to there? You see, 
sorry, I know why it's red up to there, but anything you do with that guy is red. Should be nothing blocking him. So maybe I just disconnect this rail here. I don't need that, right? blocking itself but it does it every time I think it's it's that section that I just deleted without my any money um, that is causing it so we're gonna do puts him back on the track and then we're gonna go down to here Magically reappeared. He's moving again for the moment. I think it might have been a little bit of bug with that segment. But we'll see. We'll see. Everyone should be doing stuff. But we'll see how these two work around each other. Well, no, once your man goes down, offloads, and then pops back up. Yeah, by the time he gets there, he gets the green, he goes. I'd be sure he should, yeah, he'd bypass him to go around because he has to go down this side. the issue. So you should be moving once he's clear of that line, I guess. Something to that effect. He's going to cross over to this line. Perfect. I'm going through there. He is moving along. That's fine. So, of course, the next thing we do is bring the passenger line around Lexington over to Stockton and back down to Henderson.
then we won't need him to uh, double back. He can just do a loop. And we could do a second train going the other way. look really at yes, um oh, we don't have a transport route for the the sleepers as they call them yeah quick first look at train world uh, it is out on steam like i said it's a single indie that he's doing it again Mind only, there's nothing coming. Wait. Hmm. Oh, full, is he? Is that what's going on? He doesn't have enough space for it. I just don't know. <laughs> Interesting that it's not showing the route. That's distance, actually. Sorry, is it? On station and max, but the max is going down. Now it's going back up to 200. Is 378 on the train. There's something going on there, but you broke it if I know what it is. <sighs> have uh, passed each other that's fine all our money is just melting away with that loan probably upgrade the trains Can I not? Can I not put it over there?
Sure, we'll do a railroader on it. Why not? <laughs> 